Radish is one of my favorite root crops. I like it for the bright colors, the sharp taste, and also speed of growing. It grows so fast. In just a little bit over a month, I can have a beautiful harvest of spring or fall radishes on my table. So today we will talk about how to grow this beautiful and colorful root vegetable called radish. And let's start with the most important thing, sowing seeds. I usually sow my radishes very early in the spring, as soon as the soil is workable. For me, it's the beginning of March for the spring harvest. And then again in September, I sow another round for fall harvest. When I sow my radishes, I usually overseed. That's why I have to do some thinning later on in the season. And if you don't thin your radishes, they get small in size and very tangled. So as you can see here, I didn't do proper thinning and some of the radishes didn't even bulb up because they didn't have enough room. So if you want to have a lot of plump radishes, you have to give them some room to grow. Otherwise, some of them will be skinny. But if that's what you want, then go for it. Sometimes if I planted my radishes early enough, I can do thinning by pulling out small tiny radishes and eating them first. That way I'm giving enough time for the other ones to bulb up and eat later. Next important thing in growing radishes is watering. Because radishes are root crops, they don't like to be overwatered. The soil they are growing in has to be well draining, otherwise they may rot. Usually I just check the soil around my radishes and if it looks wet, then I do not water it at all. Because in the spring and the fall we have a lot of rains here, I barely have to water my radishes. Now let's talk about the location you want your radishes to grow. Because radishes are part of brassica family, they can tolerate some shade. Also, they are root vegetables, which by default do not require the sunniest part of your garden. But since we're growing radishes in the early spring and late fall, which are kind of cold and radishes can definitely tolerate some frost, but for them to grow faster, you would want to plant them in a bit sunnier spot of your garden. That will allow your radishes to bulb up faster and you can bring it to your table in a faster manner as well. Now harvesting. Of course, you don't have to harvest all of your radish at the same time. You can just gradually pick a few here and a few there. But if you were sowing a ton in the same time, you will have to harvest a lot in the same time too. So what I usually do is I pick a lot and share it with my friends and family. These are the radishes from last year. My favorite varieties were French Breakfast and Early Globe. They are uh, not so sharp, kind of a mild in taste. And a lot of people like them. Even my kids were enjoying these radishes. You can store radishes in a fridge for about a month after harvest. And of course, you can try pickling radishes. I've tried it last year and I can't say it's my favorite pickled thing, but it's okay. Uh, once in a while, I would eat pickled radishes. If you're like me and live in a small space, in urban areas. You can try growing radishes in your containers, even hanging baskets like these that I have in the front of my house, which I usually plant some flowers in. So in the spring, I always have pansies in my containers. And last year I did an experiment and I sowed uh, seeds of radishes in between the pansies. And as you can see, they grew. They grew pretty well. Some of them were tiny, but some uh, bulbed up really nice and were a decent size. So I'm really happy that 
um, it's possible to grow radishes not only in containers but in between the flowers. Nobody can even notice that there are radishes growing in between your flowers. You're just sneaking them in between all of the beautiful blooms and you're having free food. So give it a try. Plant some seeds in between your flowers and see if they grow. And let me know in the comments below if you tried growing radishes and if you did, what varieties you like the most. And if you have any secrets, tips or tricks on how to grow radishes, also write them down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Happy gardening!